saying Asante. Hi guys, we are back again, Charlie. If today is your first time on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends. Guys, I am in Mombasa in a village called Choi. I'm not here alone. I'll introduce her to you later. You're wondering why I'm dressed like this. Carolina, come around. Yay! Let, let, let's, let, let them see how we look. <laughs> Guys, hey. Yes. I'm Carolina. So, Carolina with a K. Yes, she's also a YouTuber and she brought me to her village to experience how the village life here in Mombasa. Yes. Tell us more about your village. So in this village, this village is in Mombasa, Kenya, Kilifi County. It's a Chonyi village. So we are coming to experience Giriyama life in the village. We want to see how it goes. So we are dressed like this because we are maidens. And the reason why we have beads here is because we are looking for husbands. We are single. So this is how the single ladies dress here. So due to civilization, uh, most of them don't dress like this. But this was how it was in the past. And so we are here yeah. to experience. Go and show her some love on her please, YouTube channel. <laughs> please, my channel is Carolina Kamami. Carolina with a K. Come to my channel and support me. We'll also be doing more videos with this beautiful girl Woo! from Ghana. Stay tuned. Let's go right into the video. You, you, you got to let it go. You, you got to let it go. village come come is um and weeding so we are going to weed this is her farm so we are going to weed this part and then fetch some firewood to cook i mean that's what happens here right yeah yeah so now this is a normal routine we're just weeding because we have vegetables here we want to get them and go cook some lunch so, oh yeah. so which, which, which of them are the vegetables this one this one it's called munchicha munchicha yeah oh, okay so so we, 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 we cut them from the root like this yeah, you can cut them like that. But in Kwaribu, no. what we do, we just use them like this so that they can grow yeah. some other time. Oh, like I, yeah. I just killed the plant. I just killed the plant. <laughs> okay, so you just no harvest problem. this. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So then, why, why are we using the, the, the show? The... This one is for removing the weeds. Yeah. Oh, the weeds. Lightly, oh, okay. lightly, because the, the sand is so soft, you see? Oh, so, which ones are the weeds? Harvesting some um, plants is used to prepare. This is what I'm going to use to prepare lunch. She's also cutting down some weeds. So you can show it to her. So this is what I have harvested now. And so yeah. That's the update. We are going to use this to prepare our lunch. I'm so excited. I mean, it's so fun. <laughs> Also to be shipping, so I'm shipping with Carolina, and they use this um, um, palm branch. Is it palm or coconut? What is this? This is coconut. Coconut. Yes, they use coconut. This is what they used to use in the past. Due to modernization, now they have like proper proper brooms, but this is what they used to use in the past, and they still use it here in this village. Yeah.
of course before cooking we have to wash our hands and just this, this is what we just do they are so lucky here in the village they already have like taps and so yeah i mean i can't wait to taste their local delicacy she says it's going to be a meal i'll enjoy and i've already tried ugali and so i mean the coconut no, fish stew is going to be fish was too Fish stew is going to be and different. And you're making and the ugali with... yourself. It's not being oh, good. Oh, making... okay. Yeah. They said I am making the ugali. Hey. Ugali is just like banku or atle. And so it's nothing different from my culture. So yeah. I'll come. come in along with you. I'll come in along with you. Let's go. So the market came to us. This time around, we don't have to go to the market. The market is here with us. And so we have some leaves. We have some vegetables so this is how the firewood looks like we're going to be using this and our firewood we bought from the market this is how their pot looks like and this is also going to be our stew it's quite a small kitchen we are going to be preparing our meal from so yeah i'm coming i'm coming along with you i'm super excited about this so yeah look at this mat auntie is showing us how the mat looks like we are going to prepare everything here it's also such that you can even lie on the Mats like this. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> this is how it's done. You peel off the leaves from the stem. So you get them. And then you remove the bad ones out. All these ones are good. You can see it's so fresh. And so it's just from the farm. This is an example of the bad ones. It's an example of the bad ones. And so, yeah, so you just take the good ones out. Put on the coconut now. Ah, it's, it's, not, it's not sweet mm. because it's grown that's why it's not sweet yeah, yeah. we have the coconut the nazi and we have our, our traditional grater here and this is how we do it So you grate it till it becomes oh wow it becomes very fine can i try it yeah please. so now you've learned how to grate yes look show us your effort look what i got and of course it's edible yeah very mm. Instead of using to cook, I'm already eating it. around because the kitchen is very small for the three of us to contain and then we are about to prepare our um, vegetables so auntie is helping auntie please come auntie and carol are helping us prepare so we are putting it on fire uh, with water right no no water, no water. Oh, okay so they'll just cover it you cook your vegetables with water yes a little water and salt do you add salt yeah we add salt oh okay. but now it's going to steam itself and it going, it's going to go down by itself. But you want record? So auntie is preparing the fish now. She has to wash it, remove the bad ones. And she's using salmon. What 
Coconut milk to prepare the food. They have to remove the chaff out of the milk to get the milk out of the coconut. So that's what she's doing now. She has started doing the ugali. The ugali is the um, powdered maize mixed together with water and it's on fire. She's doing a lot because she's doing a lot for the family. Not only us, um, it has brought a lot of people from all over. So she's doing it for the family. So this is how it looks like. Mm. And then later, once the porridge is cooked, you now add the flour. So the ugali is ready. It's actually very quick, less than 10 minutes. It's ready. This is how it looks. And guys, I've been waiting for so long. I can't wait to just dig in. I'm so hungry. Come at me. Come my stomach. It's so flat. I can't wait to have a, a full belly. How excited are you two? So excited, so exhausted. Can't wait to just eat right now. Can't Our meal is ready. Let me see how it looks like. Yummy. So how was yeah. the soup prepared? So this is uh, the fish inside and then the tomatoes were just put on top and the onions and pepe, pili pili and then the, the, the coconut water coconut that, milk. that we made, yeah. yeah, it was just put inside and then it's just put covered and boiled just like that okay. once it boils it's ready so do you add salt, salt to taste, yeah okay. that's the only spice, natural spices uh, what about the, the, the vegetables? they're coming yeah, they're bringing the vegetables yeah. oh, bring it closer yeah. salt. okay, so this thing. is the vegetables the leaves, the leaves we plucked yeah. this morning. Yeah. Mm. And this is how it looks like. Mm, yummy. And it has a little bit of coconut inside. Coconut milk. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How it's been served the vegetables and then the fish sauce with um kugali so i'm going to have um what's, what's the food meal called it's ugali nasamaki wanazi nasamaki 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 wanazi wanazi so i'm going to be having this for lunch and you guys they're going to be tasting it and i will definitely share my comments so this is how the ugali looks like yeah Wow. Lemon. Oh, you add lemon to it? Yeah, we add lemon to that. It doesn't smell too fishy. But you can do without lemon. If you want. But oh, wow. we already used, we like the, the, taste. the taste. Okay, so I'm going to taste it without the lemon. And then I will taste it with the lemon and see the difference and see. Oh, you add it to the soup. Yeah, like that. Wow. Just to bring some zing. So you just taste without and then you put. Okay, so I'm going to taste it without the soup. Then I will taste it with the lemon <laughs> okay, ugali is best used with your hands mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is how it looks like, like this. oh okay you should take a big piece now uh -uh, okay 
Mm -hmm. Make it to a boy. Yeah. And then make a a who? Ah, yeah. Now dig in. Mm. 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 This is nice. Put the lemon. Put the lemon. Yeah. So nice. Mm. This is nice. This is mm. very nice. Guys, I'm not even lying. Mm. This is nice. Okay, so I think I So guys, I'm not even lying at all. This is this is really good. This is really good. The ugali is just like a plain that we eat close to like banku but they don't add salt so it's a little it gets hard in no time so it's best to eat it very hot and it's currently very hot from fire to plate so you must make sure your soup is already ready as soon as you prepare the uh, ugali then you eat and you can eat it raw just that there's no taste if it is raw it's, it's kind of just bland plain. yeah plain. plain and then this is the soup there's nothing also different because it's just like light soup fish and then vegetables and it's amazing i was skeptical about the um what's it called the the coconut milk but i feel like you don't even taste it's coconut because it's cooked yeah. it just tastes like um what's it called granite paste soup like peanut butter soup yeah that's how it is and it's nice with the fish it's good to be honest I feel like it will go well with um, gari in, in, in West Africa mm. more. Yeah, the what, what is gari made of? Gari is made of cassava. Oh, cassava. Yeah, cassava. cassava that has been grated and, and stirred. And so you can, you, can use, you can prepare it just the so way like you prepare go perfectly. with gari. Yeah. Wow. So nice. it's also a, a good staple here. It's one of, the, this is their only staple here in, Ugali, in yeah. Kenya. So yeah, it's a very popular, sorry. It's a very popular dish here. Yeah. The only thing different is the fact that they don't add salt to the ugali, and so there is no yeah. taste when it comes to the ugali. Apart from that, I think the meal is perfect. But the perfect. taste comes out when you now uh, mix um, the soup with the ugali. Yes. The taste bring, it brings out the taste. Yes. Yeah. So I realized they they make their soup more spicy in terms of the salt, so that it goes well with the ugali mm. because there is no salt in the ugali. Really? Yeah. So, <laughs> so guys. While I was swallowing this, the ugali, she is busily chewing it, and I'm wondering. She says they don't chew, they don't swallow. I should just chew, but let me let me try just swallowing. I'm not going to take. Oh my goodness! You can't swallow. Wow, we are not used to it. You so you chew it. Mm, we, we do we do like this. Then you chew it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Hey. See, these are the things. If you don't travel, you don't. You would not get to see different yeah. culture. Different things are done differently. Different foods. Different environments. Different people. Different. Different everything. This is so different, but not so different because we are all Africans, yeah. and it's it's a, it's such a beautiful experience. You should experience it whenever you come to Mombasa. Whenever you come to Kenya, try their meals. Try ugali. Don't stick to what you know. Try something new. Try something different. And so. This brings us to the end of this video. Guys, let me know in the comment section. Have you tried Ugali before? Have you tried a local meal in, in um, Mombasa before? Have you been to Africa before? Have you been to Kenya before? If you haven't, try and visit. Try a local meal. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Carolina for having me in her home. Do want to also subscribe to her YouTube Please. channel. I'm still enjoying my meal. <laughs> so nice. Until next time on my next video is the Kenya experience. Bye. <laughs> I don't want to leave you because I love you so much. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs>
Say bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye bye. 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 bye.